name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Welcome everyone to a new episode of Ideas for Life. Satan is very powerful and uh, because he's a spirit, he can fight us all the time, day and night, everywhere we go, even inside the church. So how can we fight him? One of the strongest weapons that we can ever have or carry is prayers. And it's proven along the history that prayers can give me power that Satan cannot come near. One of the beautiful stories about uh, saints who were able to stood before Satan and overcome him through prayers is a story about a guy called Kibrianus. Kibrianus was a magician he used magic, the tools of uh, Satan, to show that he is so powerful and mighty. He went to uh, Antioch and uh, he wanted to uh, perform uh, magic on people, just to brag. And he met a rich person. That rich person told him that he is in love with a girl and uh, he wanted him to help him to uh, try to make this relationship work because this girl is Christian. Her name is Justina and she can't accept that she's gonna be married to an unchristian. So he told him, if you can help me out, I'm gonna give you a lot of money. So he said, that's easy. I can use my magic and make her fall in love. And he started using his uh, words, satanic words, and to try to make that girl fall in love with that man. So every time Satan or the demons would go and try to make her tempted, they found her in a prayer mode. Whether she's praying, she's singing to God, she's praising, or having God in her mind at all times. So Satan and the demons will just go back empty-handed. They can't get hold of her. So till they reach a point when Kibrianus are telling them, look, if you don't bring me Justine right now, I'm gonna be Christian myself. So they said, no, 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 take five, we'll, we'll bring her to him. They tried several times, but it didn't work because she was in that prayer mode all the time. God is with her, whether through a psalm that she's praying, a hymn, a song, or in connection with God at all the time, all the time. So Satan started to think of having one of his demons just pretend uh, to appear like Justine, wearing the same clothes that she's wearing, or appearing to that Cabrianus. She went to him himself. And uh, Cabrianus was so happy to get the girl because of the money that he's gonna get uh, from that rich person. So because he was so happy, he started hugging her and said, you know what, I'm so welcoming to you. You are the lady of the ladies, Justine. And once he mentioned her name, Satan just was burning like smoke. So Cabrianus started thinking if just the name of that girl made Satan disappear and burn, how come when, uh, or how powerful her presence would be? So from that day on, he said to that rich person, I'm not gonna get her to you. The only way is to become Christian yourself. There is no way Satan or the demons can affect her or tempt her. So from that day on, Cabrianus became a Christian. And from that day on, after uh, a while, he became a monk and then a deacon and then a priest and then a bishop of the city because of one girl's prayer. There are tons of stories about prayers. Even uh, St. Basil the Great, when uh, 
he uh, was a bishop and he got to know uh, one of his congregation, uh, a girl that was just married, and uh, she started telling him about her husband, that he doesn't want to come to church, he doesn't want to pray, he doesn't want to do the sign of the cross, he doesn't want to participate in anything. So he asked her, what's wrong with him? So she said, I don't know, from day one we got married, there's nothing, uh, he doesn't practice Christianity at all. So he brought the, that young man and he asked him, what's wrong? He said, I always wanted to marry my wife, but because I, I was a servant and she was my master's uh, daughter, there was no chance for me. So I made a deal with Satan and I told him, if you help me out, I will be your slave. I will never go to church, I will never do the sign of the cross, I will never be a true Christian. And Satan helped me out. And I was able to do this through a deal that Satan told me, go to one of the graveyards that for non-Christians and just write that you are my slave and you will never be a true Christian and in a piece of paper and put the paper up so uh, I will take it from you in that graveyard for non-Christians. So he did that and from that day on he kept the deal because he couldn't do anything else. So St. Basil the Great, he said, you know what, let's stay together. Do you want to repent? He said, yeah. Do you want to be a true Christian? He said, yes. He said, okay, let's pray together. And they stood in that night and they prayed together. And in the morning, St. Basil the Great asked that young man, what did you see? He said, while I was sleeping, I, uh, I saw like Satan and the demons coming around me and they said, deal is the deal, you can't break that deal and they were just yelling with loud voices and it was very disturbing. I said, okay, you will stay with me for 40 days. And they stayed there for 40 days, praying together, fasting together. And after the 40 days, St. Basil the Great just asked him, how about now? He said, now I don't hear those loud voices, but uh, I, I, I saw myself praying and you are fighting Satan instead of me. So St. Basil the Great, he said, we're reaching conclusion or a solution here. Let's gather everyone in the church, all the congregation, and for a prayer tomorrow. And during that prayer, everyone was screaming to God with a very loud voice saying, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And while they were praying and asking for God's mercies, they found a piece of paper just falling down. And when St. Basil the Great saw it, he said, the young man said, this is the paper that I wrote for Satan. And from that day on, he was a true Christian coming to church regularly and uh, enjoying his Christian life with uh, his uh, wife and coming, serving the Lord, attending and enjoying heaven here on earth. Prayers are so powerful. Prayers that would make us connected with God. By myself, I can't resist Satan. But with the power of prayers, I am being hidden by God from Satan. So Satan can't overcome God, but he can overcome me if I am by myself. I wish we use that power of prayer so we can be able to fight Satan. And glory be to God forever. Amen.